Ahoy Mariners! It's me, Mrs. Stewart here, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on Alice in Wonderland. We're going to be painting. I think there's some very interesting parallels that we can draw between ourselves and her. She is living in a really strange world. Now, we're living in a very strange world at the moment. She's got the Mad Hatter, the Cheshire Cat, the White Rabbit, the Talking Flowers, the Red Queen. We don't have any of those. Okay, so at this point, we just need to channel our inner Bob Ross. So, you will need for this project a pencil, a sharpener, and the other supplies are optional. I use some leftover Bristol board, but don't paint on the shiny side. You will need a black pen, glue, and scissors. Next, any paint brushes you have lying around and paint. I also need white and black paint. These are from the dollar store. And then you can choose any other colors. Um, these were three I had lying around in a drawer, which I thought went really well together. Painter's tape or masking tape will create a clean border around my artwork. Next, I just use that circle and trace. Around the circle, paint on your three colors in any order. I'm going for a whimsical Alice in Wonderland look. Notice my brush strokes are curved to mirror that circular shape, showing movement. To help blend, I'm slightly wetting my brush and also adding more paint when I apply it. You can blend as much as you want or as little as you want. You can make this your very own. Be careful not to add too much water to your brush. It will dilute the color and may bleed through the taped border. So continue layering on more paint as you go to create something that you like and you are proud of. And feel free to just change it up. Inside the circle, I added white to contrast. I find it kind of looks like an orb of light and then I add a little bit of white going through the rest of my painting as well, blending along the way, making sure all areas are completely covered with paint. You can trace or freehand a circle around your orb of light. This will become the keyhole. Sketch it on with pencil first and then, when you're ready, apply the black paint along the border with nice clean lines. I decided to use pencil shavings to help create Alice's dress apron. Practice is so helpful. My art students know I love drafts and sketches before my good copy. Sometimes people are really hard to draw, so break it down into simple shapes, triangles, and circles. Now trace. Or if you prefer, you can skip this step altogether and freehand your design on right away. Fix the outline of Alice's hair and dress, but please don't take too much time on this because we are painting over all the detail with white paint. You'll see in our next step. Add in curved rectangles, these will be playing cards. My favorite part, pencil shaving teacups and saucers. Remember not to add too much detail yet because we are going to block out all of these shapes in white paint later on. Now it's time to block out your sketches with white paint. If you have a smaller brush at home, that's wonderful. Remember, I don't want you to go out and buy anything for this tutorial. Please use what you have at home. Be creative and innovative. Some areas may need two coats of white paint. Now you can spend a little more time on sketching in the details at this point. 
Her eyes are closed in this drawing, but feel free to explore some different options. Facial expressions, posture, shading. For example, I showed her reaching for a cup of tea on the right hand side. You can see in the top left corner where I have my example, I always like to practice before I do one final good copy. Once you're happy with your sketches, you can start to outline in any pen or black marker that you may have around the house. For our last step, you can use any type of glue that you have around the house. Told a fib. Oops. This is actually my favorite part, removing the tape border. There was a little bit of paint that bled through the tape border, but as Bob Ross says, there are no mistakes, just happy accidents.